How you doing guys? Last video we did, we changed out this ECM motor and module. I wanted to see which one was bad. So I took off the, uh, the fan motor. This was connected like this here. You take the two top screws off. You take the, uh, you unplug the fan from the module. And this is what you get here. The two capacitors, if they're bad, you can kind of tell. Around the, uh, the board, if it's burnt out or whatnot, you're gonna be able to see that too. Not always, but in this case, this one looks pretty good. So I wanted to test the actual fan motor. So you can ohm it out. You put your meter on ohms, which is on. See, right there, ohms. All right, and then what we do is we go from blue and red. I'm gonna get one reading, which is four, five, four, six. Then you can go from red to black, which is 4-1, but if you know if you made them a little tighter in there, you would get a, a little tighter reading. It would most likely be 4-5. And then if you go from blue to black, that's the biggest discrepancy. That's 2.0. This fan should have equal ohms on blue, black, and red. If you have any discrepancy, then the fan is bad. One more time red to blue you got four six red to black it's four one but the connection is not perfect but then when you go to blue to black right off the bat 2.0 all right so inside this fan from the wires back no good all right so that fan is bad and you always can just change a fan but i'll tell you what they actually sell these things together and you have to buy one or the other you'd probably end up spending the same amount of money and then if one goes you can go back and do the whole thing over again so you're going to take it out might as well just change them both so have a good day guys